In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I take, uh, I, I create an Amazon attribution link inside a campaign manager, and then I put it into my blog. I'm just going to show you that process, walk through it really slow with you, and then I'm going to show you my tracking method, which is the tracking sheet that I have pulled up right here. So the first thing I want to show you is the blog post. So the blog post is a listicle. It's called the five best eyelid washes, which cleanser is best. And so we talk about what makes a good eyelid cleanser, and we talk about the top five eyelid cleanser. Our product's number one, our product's number two, our biggest competitor is number three, and then number four is our product, and number five is our product. So we need to change all these links and make them Amazon attribution links. So we're gonna go back up to the top, and I'm gonna start right here with the Hydrate Linen Lash Cleanser. Let's click over to that. And so the first thing I wanna do is click into it, and then you can see right here, this is our canonical URL because it has all those keywords. But if you do not have a canonical URL, what you do is you right click, go to view page source, and then I'm gonna hit control F for find, and I'm gonna type in canonical. So you can see right here, this is the canonical URL for Hydrate Linen Lash Cleanser. All right, now we're gonna go over to my attribution. So how you find this is you go into Campaign Manager inside your Seller Central, you come down here to measurement and reporting, and then you click this Amazon attribution button and it will bring you to this page right here. I'm gonna click Create Campaign. This is gonna be for one of my blog posts. So I'm gonna name it Blog 01 Top 5 Eyelid Cleansers. So I'm gonna put that into here, put that into there. And then I have to be a little more specific with this. Now you may not have this nuance, but we do, because we have multiple brands, but only one brand can be in an attribution campaign. So for this first one, I'm gonna do Hydrate. And then I'm gonna look for my eyelid, Hydrate Eyelid Cleanser. I think it's under the name Hydrate. So we're gonna put Hydrate right here. And you can see it's right here with our tea tree face wash. That's gonna come later. And then our mask, our other spray, our Omega-3. And you can just see all our products are in here now for the Hydrate brand. So the key thing with this is add all on this page. Like I've said before, it doesn't matter what they're buying. You wanna get that bonus for it. So you'll get a 10% referral bonus for any product that they buy of yours when they click on that link. So the first one we're gonna do is go get that canonical URL. And we're gonna come down here, we're gonna do the Hydrate Lid and Lash Cleanser, one ounce. So that's just the variation that we're going after. It's gonna be Google, because we're gonna send Google to a blog, and then we're gonna put that canonical in here. Now, we also, in this article, have our face wash right down here. So I wanna get that in here too. So what I'm gonna do is go back to Campaign Manager. I'm gonna pull, pull up here to the face wash. And when you click on this inside of Campaign Manager, inside of this attribution area, it will pull up your canonical right here. So that's the canonical. So we're gonna come back over here. Add new ad group. We're gonna do hydrate tea tree face wash. Again, Google, put the canonical in there. Now let's look if we have anything else. So down at the bottom, I do another little area. Uh, we have our tea tree soap, and then we have makeup remover. So let's come back over here and see if that's in here. Tea tree soap, there's the tea tree soap. I'm not too worried about that though, because it's not the main feature of this. So yeah, we'll leave it right there. So we have those two. We're gonna hit create, and it's going to create our Amazon attribution links. So here's our Hydrate Lid and Lash Cleanser one ounce right here. I'm gonna make a note of that in my spreadsheet. And then I'm gonna put that link in there. And then we're gonna do the Hydrate Tea tree face wash. And then I'm gonna get that link as well. And that's just to make note of them. You can always look these up later, right here. Or you can even look them up back in your attribution area. So I'm gonna to go to edit campaign now. So this campaign is now created and it's our hydrate campaign. I'm gonna click back up here to add groups. 
And what I'm going to do is just copy this link right here. So this link is where we're going to track everything. So when we go to track, we're going to look at, you know, we're, so we're starting this on June 24th of 2022. Let's say we're tracking the last week. We just go there and it will pull up how many sales there were. So let's bring that over here. And it's a lot easier when you put this in here because then you can just go right over from this link and, and find how much it's made. So I put that in there. Now we need to create my other brand, Mediviz. Now you might not have two brands, but if you do, you're gonna to have to do this. If you don't, you just have to do one, which is a lot easier. Um, when Amazon Attribution first came out, you could do all of your products all in one false swoop, and they some reason changed it into brand specific. So you have to create two different ones for this, unfortunately, if you have more than one brand. So we're gonna come back out to here. I'm actually gonna copy this again. The blog top five, oh, that's not working. So we're gonna come back over here. All right. So back to campaign manager, all campaigns. We're gonna create a new campaign. Create manually, blog, and this one's gonna be Mediviz, our other brand. Then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna pick our brand Mediviz, add all on the page, and we're gonna choose this one. That's our tea tree oil wipes, and then our regular wipes. So first our tea tree oil wipes, we're going to copy that canonical. We're going to come down here. I'm going to go a little faster on this one. Tea tree oil eyelid wipes. And then we're going to do Google. Put it in there. That's the canonical again. Then this is going to be Mediviz regular eyelid wipes. Google. Let's go grab the canonical from that one right up here. Okay, we got both of those. We're gonna hit create. While that's creating, we're gonna come over here. Mediviz tea tree oil wipes. Mediviz regular wipes. Okay. So there's our tea tree oil wipes. And then here's our regular wipes. All right, so we got our four links that we need for this. So here's the blog post again. I'm gonna go into the edit part of my Shopify store. So you can see that right here. And we're gonna come down here. So here's our first link we need to replace. So we're gonna do hydrate lid and lash cleanser first. Let's come back over here. We'll grab it right here. I'm just gonna right click this and copy link address. And we're gonna come over here to Shopify we're going to highlight this, look at the link, and then hit edit link. So we fixed that one. Now we're going to do this one. And this one. Actually, what I'm going to do is just copy this. Oh, that may work, might not though. Okay, I'm gonna leave these two alone. Um, and then I'm gonna go get that link again. And then we're gonna do this. And this. Always do the picture. I like to create curiosity by click making a button that says check best price, purchase on Amazon. And that should do it for this one. Oh, there's another one. So what I'm saying here is in my competitors, I used to use theirs, but now I use exclusively Hydrate Lin Lash Cleanser. Make sure we have no more. There's one more right there. Okay, so that's it for the Hydrate Lin Lash Cleanser. I'm now going to show you one more, 
and then I'll show you what to do after that and then I'm gonna get them all put in and then I'll show you what I do after that. So the Mediviz Tea Tree Wipes, let's find that link. Copy link address, come back over here. Then place all those links again. Okay, so now we've got all the links replaced and then what I like to do is just make sure we test it out. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click view page but I'm gonna go into incognito mode because I don't want my cookies or my cache or anything to be set so incognito erases all that. And what I'm gonna do here so you can see this is a pop-up that we have. And so this pop-up, we're not trying to get the email address because we have get emails on this page. So since we have get emails on this page, we're actually using this pop-up to then send over to Amazon. And we're actually gonna put, right now it's an, it's an associate link, but we're gonna change that affiliate link too on that pop-up to an Amazon attribution link to go over to this product as well. So let me close those. And then here's the banner ad as well, like I talk about in the course. All right, so let's check the links here. So I'm going to hit right click, open in a new tab. I'm going to go look at this link. So we're looking for that canonical right there. That mass shows us that it's an attribution link and you can see that it worked. So we'll do that same thing over here. And you want it to open up in a new tab because you want them to stay on your browser. So we'll just check all these links real quick. They all look should be pretty good. And then you can see this is a new link. So Mediviz Tea Tree Wipes, Mass. So we're good there. Attribution works. Tea Tree Oil Face Wash, Canonical, Mass. Looks good. We're going to keep going down. Just keep clicking these. And you want to test every link that you put in there. This article has an absurd amount of links. And then we're going to come down here to the Mediviz ones, the Tea Tree. Looks good. So again, Canonical. Mass, mass, mass. So let me test all these and then we'll be right back. All right, so here we are on the final product of our blog. So this is the blog that we're gonna to use to then send Google Ads traffic to. And then those people are gonna go over to Amazon to purchase after that.